Hey, looking for something fun to do with the kids? Well, our Michelle Oliver is combining her two loves, crafting and food, to come up with a fun activity for you to do. So apparently you can take food scraps and turn them into dye that you can dye with, as in tie dye. So Michelle is going to test it out and show us how it's done. <laughs> One summertime activity I enjoyed doing as a kid was tie-dyeing shirts. And lucky for me, tie-dyeing is coming back in style. So as I was looking it up online, I found out something new. You can use food to make the dye. That's right. So I have some avocado skins and pits. You can use those to make a peachy pink colored dye. And I have some onion skins, which will make a golden colored dye. So I have my shirt. Let's see how it works. All right, so the first step is preparing your fabric. So I've already washed my shirt, but I didn't put it through the dryer, so it's nice and damp right now. Then you're going to make a mixture to help the dye adhere to the cloth. The mixture is four parts cold water and one part vinegar. So I did four cups of water, one cup of vinegar. You're going to put the fabric into the solution for about an hour. Then rinse it under cool water and wring it out, making sure it's still damp. Now it's time to make the dye. So grab two pots, either one that can't get stained, like this stainless steel one, or one you don't mind getting stained, like this old camping pot I have. So what we're going to do is put the plant material into the pots and fill it up with about twice as much water. Then we're going to put them on the stove and boil it. Once it boils, bring it down to a simmer and let it sit there for about an hour, adding just a pinch of salt. You're waiting to let all the color leach out. Strain out the plant pieces and you'll have your dye. All right, so we have our finished dyes. Now I'm really pleased with how the onion turned out. It's a nice vibrant orange color. The avocado, eh, it's more of a peachy brown than a peachy pink, but we'll see what it looks like when it's actually on the shirts. Now to tie dye. So you're going to take your shirt and make whatever design you want to. Get creative with it. If you want to do a classic spiral design, pinch the center of your shirt and spin it around to create the spiral pattern. Then secure it with rubber bands. Or you can do a cool striped tie-dye effect by folding the shirt accordion style and dyeing it that way. Another neat way is to lightly scrunch the shirt up and then put ice on top of the shirt. Pour the dye on top of the ice and you'll get a cool watercolor effect. No matter which way you choose, make sure you pour the dye over a protected surface. That's why I bought these disposable tins. Leave the shirt sitting overnight in the dye, and in the morning, rinse it out. Then, voila, you'll have a tie-dye shirt. So overall, I would say the onion worked out pretty well. It made it a nice orange golden color, and you could see the pattern clearly. The avocado, on the other hand, was a complete fail. It was more of a peachy brown, heavy on the brown color, rather than a peachy pink like I had read it was supposed to be. And after rinsing and drying it, the color faded drastically. Using food to make your dyes is fun and different, but it does leave you kind of smelling like onions. So I think next time I'll just stick to the regular dyes. I'm glad we got the real deal on these because these are all over the crafting sites on social media or accounts on social media, I should say. And I always thought, aren't you going to be a little stinky stink after doing this? Stinky stink? <laughs> I don't know. Don't I was going to say funky. Stink. I don't know. <laughs> I want a t-shirt well, that says, food. don't be stinky stink. Don't be stinky stink. Right. So other foods that you can tie dye with include beets. Apparently you can use other foods also like turmeric. I, I, I could see that work, but the turmeric is gonna leave you a little stinky stink too. So that's all according to a, a New York Times article that Michelle found. Oh, well, we will include her instructions.